hello guys welcome back to our channel we really do appreciate you guys thank you once again for your continuous massive and huge support to this channel you guys are simply the best yes my people we are here to keep you updated with all of the latest and most authentic happenings in our country so guys the news we've got today is from a those state a group um has challenged um the apc candidate the person of osaige ize iyamu to um, provide and show um, all of his achievements as um, secretary to the state government and also chief of staff. This is quite interesting. We know recently Osaige Izeyamu has accused them, the incumbent governor, the person of Godwin Obaseki, of um, giving PDP a certain amount to become the, their candidate and their flag bearer. We know as the governorship election is drawing close and we're going to be getting a lot of updates. Anyways, guys, um, we'll bring all the details um, in a moment. But before we do, please, if you haven't given us a thumbs up, do give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe as well. Yes, so let's just get straight into the news and get all of the details. Show Edo Voltas your achievement as SSG and Chief of Staff Group Challenges Ize Iyamu. A civil society group based in Edo State, concerned citizens of Edo State, has challenged Pastor Osaige Ize Iyamu, candidate of the All Progressive Congress APC in the September 19 gubernatorial election in the state, to parade his achievements while he served as the secretary to the state government and chief of staff. The group noted that Ize Iyamu and his supporters have been flaunting what they call Abuja backing which they claim will help them win the election. Secretary of the group, Mr. Orobosa Igbenoba, said, We are confident that Mr. Mohamed Buhari, the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, and the National Security Agencies will rise to the occasion to protect the wishes of Edo people. The nation has enough challenges at the moment, and the president will not allow the prevailing peace in Edo to be punctured because of the ambition of an unpopular candidate, knowing the regional and possible nationwide crisis that could follow. He emphasized clearly Pastor Osaige Izeyamu knows that his party, the APC, does not have the latitude to win elections in Edo State. Instead of withdrawing from the race to save Edo people, the troubles and needless investment by their sponsors, they are relying on what they call Abuja's backing. He added, Izeyamu was a senior official in government when the College of Education, Abudu, the only institution of higher learning in Orionwo, the local government he claimed he hailed from, was mismanaged beyond redemption. Izeyamu was also a senior government official when the National Youth Service Corps, NYSC camp, was in Abudu. The headquarters of his local government area was located to Okada. Let him point out one project he attracted to Orionwo, his local government area, for the eight years he was in government. For the records, Governor Godwin Obaseki has revamped the College of Education in Abudu and Orionwo. People are waiting for September 19th to come out in mass and vote Obaseki a second term in office. Obaseki also attracted the multi-billion naira rubber plantation project to Orion Igbe, a town in Orionwo, which has put the hands of thousands of youth to work. Guys, um, this is the news we're bringing. It's quite um, shocking and interesting to note as well. So a group, um, this group is challenging Ize Iyamu to bring forth um, all of his achievements. We know just yesterday, yeah, Izeyamu rolled out um, his manifestos on um, um, his um, posters, about 17 posters that came out, and all of them had different promises to Edo Light. And the, the question, the, the major question was that do Edo Light really believe all of this that Izeyamu um, is saying to them? Uh, we don't know if um, they actually believe because we know um, he has had issues of, uh, of trust in the past where. Um, the person of um, Oshomole said so many things against him. But anyways, Izeyamu came out to clear all of those that um, Oshomole was just playing politics. So yesterday, Izeyamu said a lot that he was going to move Edo State forward. He was going to bring change. He was going to bring development. He was going to serve. He said a lot of things. And I believe uh, maybe that's where um, 
this um, group, that is where they are coming from, with all of the recent happenings, they've challenged him right now that um, he should come and prove and show um, Edo voters, show Edo voters your achievements while you were um, SSG, um, the secretary, the secretary of the state. And also while you were chief of staff, it was two terms, four years each, that they actually want to see your achievements. Stop giving us stories. And this is quite, uh, it's quite a harsh and a strong one on um, Osage Izeyamu. We know um, he's going to respond, he's going to react to this. We'll wait to hear that reaction because this group, they brought it online and they've stated it point clear to him that, you know what, bring all of your uh, achievements. No more talking because talk is cheap, guys. That is really correct. Talk is cheap. And they actually pointed out um, that the local government that um, Osai Geze Yamu came from, the only... Um, 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 um college of education that was there was nothing to write home about until obaseki became governor and obaseki has transformed that um, college of education and a lot of things so they were just pointing out the things that um, obaseki has achieved but uh, let's know that Izeyama has never been a governor he was just um, chief of staff and um, ssg but right now, they still believe that even though he has not been a governor before, those positions he occupied for the eight years, to some extent, he would have made some impact and affected the state and moved the state forward in, a, in some certain ways. They would have attributed some projects to his name to say it was Isaiah who that brought forth this, that brought forth that into the state. But there is really nothing they claim that is this uh, this group challenging Osage Isaiah. And the name of the group they are called concerned citizens in Edo State. It was actually signed by the secretary of the group, the person of Mr. Orobosa Igbenoba. So guys, it's getting interesting. And they are also um, reminding um, um, Ize Iyamud. I don't think that um, uh, President Mohamed Buhari and INEC will twist things around for you. It's not possible. But I don't know why this group has got this kind of confidence that um, uh, Buhari will not do anything because they are all they are still in the same party. It's the ruling party. Mohamed Buhari is um, under the APC. So it's still one party. But um, we want to believe that um, INEC um, will do the right thing by um, conducting a free and fair election because that's what they've all, always said to the public in all of their statements, in all of their... Uh, a message is to adult people. That is what they've always stated that um, they are looking forward for a free and fair election. So, guys, um, let's know what you think about all of this. If you also believe that there are some things that um, Isaiah Yamu achieved while he was um, SSG, let us know while he was the secretary to the state government and also chief of staff in uh, the, the eight year period. Let us know. Drop it, drop it down below in the comment section. We'll be glad to have um, a healthy conversation. We know all of this um, is getting tense right now. And um, everyone, one is trying to demarket one and the other one is trying to demarket the other. We know it's Osage Ezeyam. He has been bringing a lot of allegations of late. And um, he's been accusing the person of Godwin Obaseki of not uh, uh, delivering and... Um, um, completing projects, you will know he stated that Obaseki has been giving excuses that um, he's been distracted and all of that. So it's been counter allegations and counter one will react and the other one will react. But we hope that Edo Lightem will stand in a good position to see um, who a true leader really is who can provide good governance, who would help move the state forward, and who will um, help um, alleviate the suffering uh, uh, in the life of the masses uh, of the Edo people of Edo light. That is what we're looking for. So guys, um, let us know what you think. Share your thoughts down below in the comment section. We want to say a big thank you, yes, to all of our subscribers. We really do appreciate you, my people. You guys are simply the best. Thank you for subscribing and thank you also for sharing and for um, attracting new subscribers to this channel. Guys, please, if you still haven't um, subscribed, do click on the subscribe button down below. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up, hit on the like button. It really does mean a lot to us. And also hit on the notification bell. It enables you to get updates of all of our latest news as we upload them. I want to say thank you once again till I come your way again. It's bye for now and God bless.